Okay, so in this video we're going to integrate z to the power of 4 times e to the minus 1 over z dz on the contour c, where c is the unit circle with radius 1. So how are we going to integrate this? Well, integration by parts is the first thing that comes into to mind, but you see here we've got a z, so we're in the complex world. So integration by parts, probably not going to work here. But what we do know, we know a Taylor series for exponential. And then for minus 1 over z, there'll be a Lorentz series for that one. And then z times 4, we can maybe multiply that by the Lorentz series of this and then find the residue. So let's go straight into that. Let's see if we can find uh, Lorentz series for this. So exponential of z... Now we know there's a Taylor series for that. Uh, that's a very famous Taylor series. And that just goes on and on and on, all the way along for as many as you like. And we could also write this as, oops, uh, we can go from zero to infinity. And then we go, so here we could have a 1 factorial. We could divide this by 0 factorial, because 0 factorial is 1. So this thing is 1 over 1. And we know that z, this could be a 1 here. And this could be a z to the power of 0 here. Because anything to the power of 0 is always 1. So we can write this as z to the n. That will take care of all these uh, put numbers at the top here, all these indices. Then at the bottom, the factorial, we can just say n factorial. So that's our exponential of z. So now what we want, exponential of minus 1 over z. So what we can do is, we can say, there's a Lorentz series for exponential of 1 over z, and that way, what we do is, we can use this series here and flip the z over n, uh, z to the n to the bottom. So let's just do that for now. So it's the sum i equals from 0 to infinity. Sorry, I should say, call this an n. That's an n. And it's 1 over z to the n times n factorial, that exponential of 1 over z, but we now want minus 1 over z, so we now have to multiply everything by minus 1. So we can say exponential of minus 1 over z, make sure that's a clear z, equals n equals 0 to infinity. Now this 1 at the top, we're going to change that to accommodate the minus 1 sign. So we put a minus 1 to the n. So now we're going to get an alternating series. Obviously when minus 1 is squared, we get positive. When minus 1 is cubed, we stay back with negative. So that will take care of that. So that's our Lorentz series for exponential of minus 1 over z, which we can write as in like this. So we can say that is, so when n is 0, so minus 1 to the 0, that's just going to be 1. z to the n, that's also going to be 1. And z to the 0, and 0 factorial is also 1. So that just leaves 1. When n is 1, we've got a minus 1. So actually, let's change this minus sign. So that's going to be minus, and that's a 1 in the top. z to the n, so again 1, and 1 factorial. So z times 1 factorial will just leave us that. Go on to number 2, minus 1 squared is going to be plus 1. z squared, 2 factorial. So now you'll eventually see there's a little pattern form in here. When z is 3, or when n is 3, sorry, we get minus 1. So back to the minus 1 sign. And then we'll have a z cubed and 3 factorial. Let's write that 3 factorial on there. 
that's it and then this will just go on and on for as long as you like so that's the exponential of minus 1 over z taken care of but we want z to the 4 times exponential of minus 1 over z with respect to z so let's just see if we can work that out now so let's just work this out z to the 4 times exponential of minus 1 over z so that would be then z to 4 times all of these terms so we just multiply that times 1 minus 1 over z plus 1 over z squared 2 factorial minus 1 over z cubed 3 factorial and because we want to accommodate z to the 4 we want to get a few more terms in here now let's go for two more so plus obviously the minus 1 is alternating here so, so minus plus minus plus z to the 4 so that's just going to follow the pattern then obviously this is now going to be 4 factorial and again following our pattern it's going to be minus 1 z to the 5 5 factorial okay let's close the brackets okay so now distribute z to the 4 in all these terms so we now get z to the 4 times 1 that's that one minus z to the 4 times 1 uh, times minus 1 over z well that's going to be the z cubed in the top so it's going to be minus z cubed z to the 4 over z squared it's going to leave a z squared in the top and the plus sign will stay and then the 2 factorial this one that 2 factorial is better will now stay in the denominator take care of this one z to the 4 times this one will leave us as minus 1 times z at the top so z at the top and then the 3 factorial stays in the denominator taking care of this one z to 4 z to 4 they cancel so our constant is going to be 1 over 4 factorial z to the 4 times minus 1 over z to the 5 well there'll be nothing in the top except the minus 1 and then the denominator z to the 4 is z to the 5 at the bottom that just leaves us minus 1 over z and 5 factorial and again this will just carry on so that's what this is here so we're basically what we are finding the integral of this but what we can be really clever here now and use Cauchy's residue theorem because this is a closed contour uh, z equals 1 I'll just draw that up here quickly so z equals 1 that's just going to be the unit circle 1 here pi here that's the imaginary and that's the real so basically we're integrating inside here so c is a contour inside here so this is valid for us to use Cauchy's residue theorem and for Cauchy's residue theorem, we use the um, multiple for the minus or the one over z. So in this case, it's minus one over five factorial. So this is what we're interested in here: is this that bit there? These ones here are, and all these ones over here, we're no good for the residue theorem. So we're just looking for this one. So we've got minus one over five factorial is the value of this residue here. So basically what we say is this is basically 2 pi i times minus 1 over 5 factorial. So about that, that equals 2 pi i times minus 1 over 5 factorial is 120. So basically our answer is this and this cancels out to become 60 in the bottom and then the minus pi i stays so that is the answer to our integral here okay